morning everybody assalamu alaikum i hope you're all having a lovely week so far my week so far has been battling this cold i just have a never-ending cold it's not going away i've been on it with my vitamin d's vitamin c's alhamdulillah i've really been consistent i have such a long day today <clears throat> and today's agenda is clean the kitchen which i just did put the clothes in the washing clean the room clean the house i need to cook dinner before i even shower when you've showered and then you're like oh i'm hungry and you need to cook and then all your clothes are all smelling of food i hate that do my makeup film a tiktok film for youtube film a perfume tiktok video unbox my pr i have to go for to the office for a photo shoot and then i have an event at 6 p.m i have to come back edit my video because it gotta go up this week it's a lot today i always do my to-do list before the night before you guys i have curated the most beautiful morning routine for myself and i'm so proud of myself alhamdulillah perhaps i'll share it in the near future once my routine has become a habit inshallah i will share it with you i gotta drink this tea fast and get to work i'm gonna give myself six minutes <laughs> shower i feel like a new person right now i cooked i tidied up the house i already ate took a shower got dressed and now i'm about to tidy up this room clothes everywhere so i wanted to do an unboxing of all the pr products that, that i received this week we have some pretty exciting stuff here ghost decided to send me a whole bunch of their fragrances this is like a holiday gifting pack this gift pack which has like a fragrance and a candle inside and that's how it looks like there is some minis over here i have this fragrance in a full-size bottle so good this came in from florist their 10 milliliter gift set perfectly sized for your handbag from, there's a brand called never go alone they basically make these like travel sized pocket sized products what is how do you open this ah yeah this is a sanitizer like you twist it and then you hand sanitize it's a spray hand sanitizer it doesn't smell so bad as well a hand cream pocket friendly wipes open it here and then you take out the wipes these are going straight into my handbag kiss lashes sent me a whole s'mores kit a great bunch of nails lashes all of that good stuff i feel like i want to do a giveaway with this because there's so many look at all of these nails and i'm sure one of you guys would appreciate these so much and you know what if you're into nails things like that and you live in the uk unfortunately i can only send them to somebody who's in the uk comment nails down below and then put your instagram page as well so that i can send you a message on instagram to send these to you guys i will never ever ask you to pay for anything i'll never ask you to click any link bank details or send me whatever it's not gonna be me okay they also sent me lashes these are quite dramatic if you like lashes, comment lashes, comment your Instagram, and I'll send these to you. Hey, Miss Mona Katan sent me her new fragrance, Sparkling Lychee Eden. This is the new one that she literally has just launched. Evidence, their skincare, luxury skincare. Very kind, very nice, very good. <laughs> at the event this brand called alexandra j perfumes showcasing their novo collection it's a beautiful collection the bottles are stunning and the fragrances are just so unique i absolutely love it this one is called oh my god i've forgotten the names but it has like almond and dates and it smells so gourmand and so beautiful that was my favorite I don't know, I'm in Central. The place is so beautiful. There's like lights everywhere and it's so overcrowded. Oh my goodness. Should we get a dessert before we go home?
three wishes, what would your wishes be? I watched this movie yesterday called Genie. It's new on Sky Cinema. Literally any movie growing up where there's a genie involved, it's always the three wishes. For example, like Aladdin. But this Genie movie on Sky Cinema, it literally has unlimited wishes, you guys. I couldn't stop thinking, like, if I could rub a lamp and had a genie come out, what unlimited wishes would I want? Like, for example, right now, I would be like, can I have a burger, please, with chips? Because I'm hungry. So the movie Genie is a very cute holiday fairy tale comedy movie. It's starring Melissa McCartney, which she's so funny. Like, so it's about the genie who is Melissa McCartney, a man who's trying to salvage his family because his wife has taken his daughter away because he works too much. The movie gives humor. The movie gives feel good vibes. That it's the perfect like Sunday evening watch or like if you've had a really long day and you just want something very light to watch. Like I mentioned earlier, this is not your typical genie where you only have three wishes. You have unlimited wishes. I This is the moment to be greedy, right? This is the moment to ask for everything that you want. That's one thing that this, I feel like this movie lacked in that. The man who got the genie and has these unlimited wishes did not take advantage of that. And that one cool thing he did wish for was a, an unlimited credit card so he could go shopping for his daughter. That was definitely something that I would do. But other than that, it was a very cute movie. I enjoyed it. He comes up with a plan to try to bring his family back together. It's kind of given that in the end, the family does come together one other thing that annoyed me i would say is in the end there's this other rule that gives him a three last wishes and he kind of wastes them there's so much more you could have done for example like I wish for a house for my daughter for the future, you know, like a house with her name on it. So yeah, it's a good movie. I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. And I just, and I love feel good movies as well. You guys know me. As you know, every month there are new movies on Sky Cinema. So another movie that's out on Sky Cinema this month is called May December. A few months ago, Sky Cinema actually invited me to the screening of this movie. And so I watched it in this huge like cinema auditorium area place. Guys, I was so excited to share with you guys the movie. I even forgot to my skincare anyways so the movie may december is it's a very interesting movie interesting is definitely the word to describe it a lot of sensitive topics are being portrayed in this movie so beware about that something super controversial happens in the past but this family is still haunted by it many years later and it's just it's interesting you need to watch it to understand it link to the trailer in the description box below third movie is called shazam fury of the gods i'm sure some of you guys have already wa probably watched the shazam series it's a superhero movie so it's about this teenage boy called billy batson and when he says the word shazam he just transforms into his adult superhero alter ego called shazam kids would really enjoy this movie i feel like it would feed to their why is my spray not working? Feed into their imagination. Oh, there it's working now. My skin feels so good right now. I also wanted to do a little bit of reflection on this year's like movie selection, especially the ones that I've enjoyed. Do you guys remember the big George Foreman? It was the true story about the boxer, a man called Otto. Not a new movie in general, but it was new on Sky Cinema three, four months ago. Magic Mike's Last Dance. I mean, we all are a fan of Channing Tatum. The Woman King was my top movie of the year. Loved that movie. It's such a badass female movie, and I just, I recommend recommend all of you all to watch it. It was so good. Maggie Moores. Do you guys remember the movie Maggie Moores? There have been so many good movies this year, so I'm so grateful to have had this opportunity to share them with you guys. Please let me know what your favorite movie of the year has been. Comment down below. I'm excited to see what Sky Cinema have new next year. I'm so grateful to Sky Cinema for sponsoring this video as always. Oh my goodness, just in time. Thank you so much. I really needed this tea. Guys, I'm in bed, I'm warm, I have my cup of tea. I might as well just spend the evening watching a good movie. I'm gonna be watching Love Actually, like it's such a good classic movie. So yeah, don't forget to let me know what your favorite movie this year was and I'll see y'all in the morning. Bye. <laughs> It's a pretty, it's a very cold morning and a very gloomy start to my day, but I have a fun day ahead. I'm going to an event with a perfume shop now. I went with, uh, to an event with uh, Instagram this morning. Morning guys, it's a brand new day and it's cold as always. 
but I'm off to a end of the year brunch with my management and the girls so it's gonna be a super fun morning look at my new handbag that literally just arrived right now like i love it so much it's so cute to be honest i was super inspired by naima naima begum has this bag and every time i see her i'm like i need to get it uh let's go for brunch oh, yeah, it's a good? Yeah, someone tried. It's, it's like oh no, 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 where about to look you know, you you know, 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 you know like know. there's a big touch what, you know, <laughs> So I just want to go and get maybe someone here. It's a new day. I have the last event of the year to go for. 2023 is coming to an end. I got this panini from Wenzel's. Mm, it's so good. I just came back from the office. I don't know what I was doing with that cricket machine. And it cut me like, wow, look at this huge bandage. I want to guys hear the other one in the room. Okay, we're gonna settle for this bandage. It's so big for no reason at all. Yeah, so I went to the office this morning. First of all, I had a crazy content day yesterday. I decided I was just gonna do like five videos. TikTok videos, Instagram videos. I have to shower, do my makeup, get dressed. All while filming, I gotta pray in literally one hour. I have showered, freshened up. I've been so grateful that the temperature has gone up to 10, 11 degrees now because let's be honest, I was packing my bags and ready to leave the UK on that week that it was negative one, negative two. It was freezing cold. I am so excited to wear an abaya to this event. This is the final look. I have just used, oh my goodness, where is it now? All oh, my makeup just fell to the floor. It's ridiculous. <laughs> It was, it was literally right in my hands. I had the lipstick in my hand and it was right in front of me. I did not move from here. Oh, you know when you're in a hurry, you also can't see anything. Like, where the hell did it go? Outfit of the night. Ah, oh, you can see it so much better on this side. Okay, um, outfit again. Outfit of the day is this black abaya. I got it during my Umrah trip, so I love it. It has these like gold strips all around. My bag is mango. And I don't know what shoes to wear. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. Cute. Um, had a lovely time. Time, despite being literally stuck in traffic for two hours. Chapel. Why? I was not expecting Sonomask to have food at the event, but they had food. You guys, they had food, which I was so happy about because I was starving. Your girl ate, mashallah. They had like little burgers. Is it focused? They had like little burgers, some little prawn stuff. Like, okay, the foods were legit. Okay, and then I met this super nice where is that card i met this super nice uh girl who actually did all the food and the catering and she she sorted me out like guys i was enjoying my cupcake and then she came in they're like oh this is the caterer who did the food and i was like girl can you can you sort me out can you like pack me some stuff because i was like i cannot leave all of that like i cannot leave the event without trying everything and she, mashallah she's like stopped me up so cute i found it it's called m's fine dine like really nice and the food was amazing and then the event was really cute so must open their new store in Whitechapel, and obviously came home with some goodies we got to choose a fragrance and then get it engraved as well the scent i went for is called oud aristo it smells divine the packaging is so pretty as well like look at that oh and that's the engraving like how beautiful that was my night i'm currently just like any second now you'll hear the bell ring with my food i ordered some food yeah i know i ate at the at the event but i'm still hungry so i ordered something after this i also need to film like a campaign video i'm obsessed with this lip combo that i used if only i could find the freaking lipstick i don't even know where it dropped also like this morning the craziest package came like 
it's so funny this brand in Chewy's they sent me a fridge like a whole fridge how flipping cute is this so you put your skincare in here so funny and so cute what it's called a beauty fridge yeah Nothing like a warm blanket, food, and a good movie to watch. I don't want to get lazy though. I have work to do, man. 11. It's actually 11 p.m. See, that's the problem with working for yourself. You just never stop working. It's my first time ordering from this uh, restaurant. Okay, which one should we try? I'm thinking the lotus one because it just looks so good. But then like the strawberries, I feel like they're gonna go bad if they're not eaten. Uh, what do we have here? We have like, I think it's a milk cake. We have cupcake, which I'm gonna keep for tomorrow. And then we have this mango one, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it smells like mango. Oh, this lotus smells so good. A lotus it is. Gotta dig all the way to the bottom. So my camera died. I'm coming to you from my phone. Smidler. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can you see I come in bed? 